सुखमात्रम सिकं जाता बुद्धि ग्राहम मतिंद्रियम वृत्ति जात्रा नाचैबा हयां सितास चलति तत्पतः ना एवरी वन ऑफ अस इज सर्चिंग आफ्टर हैप्पीनेस बट यू डू नॉट नो व्हाट इज रियल हैप्पीनेस The real happiness is hint of real happiness. What is real happiness? That is being described by Lord Sri Krishna to Arjuna. What is that real happiness? Happiness we feel through our senses, uh, uh, because uh, material dead stone has no sense. Therefore, dead stone cannot feel happiness or distress. Now, this consciousness, the developed consciousness, uh, feels happiness and distress more than undeveloped consciousness. Just like the tree, the tree is there about also consciousness, but it is not developed consciousness. Therefore. Are standing on the road or any path, but uh, uh, they have no sense of feeling the misery. Now suppose uh, a human being is asked to stand like the tree uh, at least for three days, or it will be impossible for him because he cannot uh, tolerate such kind of misery. So the conclusion is that every living entity feels the pleasure and happiness according to the developed consciousness of his being. Similarly, the happiness which we are feeling now in the material mixture, that is not real happiness. That is not real happiness. If you ask the tree, "Are you feeling happy?" Ah, the tree will say, "Yes, I am feeling happy, standing here, the whole year, and the wind and snowfall I am enjoying very much." Oh, you see. So that sort of happiness the tree may enjoy, but you, as human being, will show this is the standard of its enjoyment. Similarly, there are different kinds and different grades of living entities. They are uh, standard of feeling happiness and misery. They are also different grades. Animal and the animal kingdom. Uh, there are no sense. Uh, one animal is being slaughtered. The other animal is seeing uh, because he has no knowledge. The next turn. He is, he is being sad, um, being slaughtered, but he is uh, chewing some grass. Ah, he is happy. He is thinking that I am happy. Next moment he will be slaughtered, but he does not know. So these are all different uh, grades of uh, uh, happiness. But the highest standard of happiness is described here. सुखम आतंकिक जाद बुद्धि ग्राह्यम अतिन्द्रिय बुद्धि ग्राह्यम अतिन्द्रिय बुद्धि मीन्स इंटेलिजेंट वन हेज टू बी इंटेलिजेंट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एंजॉय लाइफ देन यू मैस बी इंटेलिजेंट ऑट लाइक द एनिमल्स दे आर नॉट इन दट इंटेलिजेंट एन आर therefore they cannot enjoy life as a human being can stand so yes in the bhagavad gita also it is said that buddhi grahyam atindriya atindriya now just take the example of a dead man the sense of the hands the nose the sense organs and everything is there 
but now it cannot enjoy. Ah, the dead body it cannot enjoy. Ah. Why? This requires intelligence. Why the dead body cannot enjoy? What is the difference? The body is lying there, the hands and the nose and the legs and the eyes and all other sense organs are there, but why the dead body cannot enjoy? Uh, that requires intelligence. That means that the enjoying energy, the spiritual spark, uh, that has gone away. Therefore it has no power to enjoy. Then if you make advance further with intelligence, then you'll understand that actually the body was not enjoying, but that little spark, spiritual spark, that was enjoying. Not this body. Oh. This requires little intelligence. Uh, I am thinking that I am enjoying uh, with my sense organs. Uh, but you are not enjoying. Uh, the real, real enjoyer is that small spiritual spark within you. That spiritual spark has got the potency of enjoyment, but that is not being manifested on account of being conquered, uh, covered by this material tabernacle, and therefore this enjoyment is not perfect. This requires little uh, uh, um, mm. intelligence. Uh, where is the enjoyment for the dead body? Uh, the dead body no more can enjoy. Uh, uh, suppose uh, if a man is offered a dead body of a beautiful low man, will he accept? Or a woman is offered the dead body of a beautiful man, will, will she accept? No. Uh, because the enjoying part is moved now. But that requires intelligence. Who is enjoying? Uh, who is enjoying? The enjoying. The enjoying spirit. The spirit is enjoying. Not this part. That requires intelligence. <coughs> Then again, now, if that spirit is enjoying, then the spirit must have enjoying senses also, otherwise how it can enjoy? If you have no enjoying sense organ, then how you can enjoy? A blind cannot enjoy. Therefore it is accepted that the spirit soul Although it is very small atomic, we cannot measure. Oh, several times I visited here that the measurement of the small, my infinite human spirit part is just a one ten thousand part of the upper portion of your hair. It is so small, but that does not mean Ah, just like we are incapable to measure something, we define that point has no length, no breadth. But actually it is not a fact. Ah, if you see a point with microscope, you will find the point has increased to one inch round, and it has got length and breadth. Ah, similarly, we have no capacity to make, uh, make a measurement of the soul, but there is measurement. And there, there, is, there are senses of that spiritual path. Ah. There are. Without having this, without the spiritual spark, having the senses, how this body is gro grown. This body is just like dress. When you, when you speak of dress, the dress is made according to the, your body. If you go to a tailor, uh, the tailor will take measurement of your body and the dress will be supplied to you. Fit. Similarly,
unless the spiritual spark has got body, how these, uh, I mean, the grace of this material tabernacle level has grown, this requires intelligence. Now the conclusion is that this that spiritual spark uh, is not impersonal. It is, not, it is actually personal. The soul is actual personal. As God is actual personal, similarly, because we are part and parcel of the Supreme, therefore, if I am a person, then God must be person. God is the father of everyone. Now, if I am the son, I have got personality, I have got individuality. How can you deny the individuality and personality of the Supreme Law? So these things require intelligence. Intelligence. The Sukhop Atam Pingang Jasta Buddhi Graiham Atindriyam. Atindriyam. Atindriyam means you have to transcend this material sense. Then you can actually appreciate what is happening. Just like the other day I uh, explained the happiness of the yogi, ramante yogina anante satyarande chitātmani. Uh, ramante yogina anante, the yogi, uh, those who are transcendentally aspiring after spiritual life, they are called yogi. Uh, Bhakti yogi, jnana yogi, jnana eh? oh, yogi, there are so many departments of yogi. Eh? Now, they also enjoy. Oh, the whole process is to concentrate upon the Vishnu murti, Vishnu form within the heart. And eh? unless there is pleasure, there is no enjoyment. Wow, what is the use of? Uh, controlling the senses and focusing the mind on the on, uh, supreme, uh, super soul within the heart. There is pleasure. And what sort of pleasure that is? That pleasure is ananta. Ananta means endless. Endless. Yogina, yogina, ramante, yogina, anante. Ananta means that pleasure is not endless. That pleasure, why it is not endless? Because the Spirit is eternal and uh, the Supreme Lord is eternal, therefore reciprocation of their uh, loving exchanges, they are eternal. They are eternal. The living Spirit is eternal, the Lord is eternal, and their exchange of feeling a loving feeling, that is also eternal. So one who is intelligent, they should refrain from this sensual enjoyment of this material body, which is flickering, which is not in essence, and should seek that enjoyment of spiritual life. That is called Rāsavī. Uh, you have heard about Lord Krishna's Rāsa-līlā. That is not ordinary uh, exchange of feelings of this material body. That is exchange of feelings of the spiritual body. So sukham ātam tiyam jatta buddhi One has to use his intelligence to understand what is real happening. Foolish man cannot understand what is real happiness. Uh, intelligence. So as soon as one becomes intelligent, uh, uh, the next slope is described. Now, deti jatra na chayivayam sitas chalati tattataha. One who does not know what is real happiness, they are seeking happiness in this material world. There is a nice story. A man, a friend, was advised by his friend that if you chew uh, sugar cane, 
Oh, it is very nice trick. Ah, the friend who was advised to chew sugar candy, he had no experience. What is sugar candy? So he asked his friend, oh, what is sugar candy? The friend suggested it is just like a bamboo log. So the foolish friend began to chew all kinds of bamboo log. Now, how he can get the sweetness of the sugar candy? Similarly, we, we are uh, trying to have happiness and pleasure, but we are trying to derive happiness, pleasure, achieving this material body. So therefore there is no happiness, there is no pleasure. Oh, for the time being there may be a little feeling of pleasure, but that is not actual feeling. That is oh, for temporary, just a slight focus. Oh, of that lightness, that uh, in the sky we find some lightness, but real lightness is beyond that. So, beti jatra na chai bhaya, sitaschana, sitaschataha, because persons they do not know what is happiness, sitaschana, sitaschataha, real happiness that deviated from real happiness. Yamalabdha chāparangalāhaṁ mannati nādhikaṁ tata. Now this real happiness, now we are trying to, uh, uh, to be um, posted or to be situated in that position of real happiness by practice of this Krishna consciousness. By Krishna consciousness we shall gradually uh, develop our intelligence, real intelligence, then we shall naturally uh, like to enjoy the spiritual happiness and as, as we make progress and get test of spiritual happiness, so proportionately we give up the test of this material. Bhakti parishanu bhava virakti annatrasya bhakti, this Krishna consciousness is gradually developed in realizing, understanding the Supreme Absolute Truth, Parishanu Bhava. Ah, Parishanu Bhava. Then as Parishanu Bhava, as we make, pro- make progress to understand the Absolute Truth, naturally we become detached from this false happiness we are trying to enjoy. Bhakti Parishanu Bhava Virakti Annatrasha. Now, here it is said, stated, Janglabdha Chaparanglabhanga Mannati Nadhikam Tataha. If somebody, somehow or other, achieves or, de- or is promoted to that stage, then what is the result? The result is Janglabdha. Uh, by achieving such stage, uh, a transcendental stage, chāparaṅglāhamaṅga mannatena, other achievements, they become insignificant. Uh, here we are trying to achieve so many things. We are ach- trying to achieve uh, 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 so many riches, uh, strength, uh, fame, and beauty and knowledge, so many things are trying, achievement. But as soon as you become uh, properly situated in Krishna consciousness, achievement, then you think, oh, no achievement is better than this achievement. Jangalamtha, means other kinds of achievement. They will be considered as big. Oh. It is so big, this Krishna consciousness, that one who understands and has a little test, salpumopiyasya dharmasya prayati mahatova, a little test can save one from the greatest danger. And as he makes progress and is a real test, then he thinks that all other achievements are useless, nonsense, in comparison to Krishna. 
जंगलब्धा चापरंगलाभंग मन्नती ना अधिकंग तथा जस्मीन स्थितो ना दुखीना गुरु ना आपी विचार रहते I am very glad to inform you a practical example. One of our students was put into very unfavorable condition, but he was not admitted at all. Disturb. Will be discussed now. Practical. Ah. We can't be right, and we are also not disturbed. We thought. Oh, Krishna is there. He will not be put into the deep. He cannot be put into the deep. So here it is said, Jasmin Sito, na dukhe na guru na api vichar late. If one is situated for me in Krishna consciousness, uh, the gravest type of danger cannot disturb you. It is such a nice thing. Jasmin Sito na dukhe na guru na api. Guru, guru means very heavy. Very heavy. Guru na api dukhe na. Na vichalati. He is not disturbed. He is not disturbed. Of course, it may be a story, but I am telling you of my practical life. In 1942, uh, there was heavy bombing in Calcutta. Heavy bombing in Calcutta. By once, twice bombing, all the population vacated. Calcutta was uh, a city of no man. Uh, but uh, there were, of course, many people remained there. Though those people though could not leave the city for some urgent or some other business. So somehow or other I had to remain uh, in the city. And on the 12th December 1942, I remember, there was heavy bombing. Uh, but uh, fortunately, uh, we stayed past that. We saw that something fireworks is going on. Let us enjoy. You can do it again, like that. So many monsters. So, so what can be done? There may be so many dangers in our life because it is the place only full of danger. We do not know because we are fully. We are trying to address this. That is our fault. We should just like. Now, in a railway carriage, you are being trans, trans, transported from one place. It is supposed to be crowded. Uh, so, instead of adjusting the crowd, better tolerate for a few hours and get down and go to your destiny. Similarly, we may have many dangerous spots in this material life. But uh, we, if we are preparing ourselves for going back to Krishna in Krishna consciousness, then these things should be not cared for. Let them happen. They come and go. Let them happen. The bombing was not for all the days. Uh, all right, let, let them take place for a few hours or few days. We have to address like that. But it is very difficult to adjust. But one who is situated in Krishna consciousness, he is not disturbed. He is not disturbed. That is the technique of not being disturbed. The more he advances Krishna consciousness, will become free from this material and then There is a very nice word in Srimadha Bhagavad. Samastitoji padapallabam plamam mahatpadam punnajasu murari mamam budhivatsapadam param padam 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 jantupadana tesham. 
समाकृतवजी पदपल्लव प्लमम Now this uh, material world is compared with a great ocean, and actually, the uh, those who have travelled on the sea, now they have seen Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean. This is only a spot. This earth is only a spot in this material universe. So we have got these two big oceans, Atlantic and Pacific Ocean. Just imagine. That within this universe, millions and millions of uh, planets are floating. How many Atlantic and Pacific oceans are there? You can just imagine. Uh, so this is actually a great ocean of misery. Mama Muri, the Sastra says, is a great ocean of uh, birth and death. So Mama Muri, Samastha Ji Padam Nau. In order to cross the ocean, he required a very nice boat, a uh, strong boat. Then he can uh, cross. Over. So we have to cross over this ocean of nisan material. And what is that boat? Uh, that is lotus feet of Krishna. You take shelter of the. Boat, which is Krishna's lotus feet, uh, samastha, text with great faith that I am now accepting this boat as my life, life boat. Then what is the result? Now mahapadam, mahapadam. I don't think that oh Krishna, Krishna's boat or feet is so small. No, it is mahapadam. Mahapada means the whole material creation is resting on its legs. Mahapada, punna jasu mudari. So one who has taken shelter, that for him this great ocean of nisan is just like a, 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 the water containing on the impression of cup leg. Oh, in a, of course, we have no experience in India about experience because the uh, cows and cows they go uh, on the pasturing ground, and in, in rainy season their hooves make holes, and in that hole there are some water. So that water, this great ocean, is compared like that one. So nobody has any difficulty to cross. So bhavam budhi vasapadam param padam. Uh, And for them, they, they, those who are taken center uh, of uh, Krishna consciousness, for them is waiting param padam, the supreme abode. Uh, padam padam jad vipada agnati sham. This place where in every state there is danger, this place is unfit for them. Uh, padam padam jad vipada agnati sham. Uh, it's very nice. So, Jasmin Sito na dukhe na guru na api bichal lete. If you are actually situated in a Krishna consciousness under the shelter of Krishna's lotus feet, then guru na api dukhe na very heavy sights of danger may be before me. I shall not be disturbed. Or anyone who has taken the shelter like that, he will never be disturbed. Never be stopped. Tanvidya dukkha sang juva vyavang juva sangitam sa nishchayana juktavya yoga nirvinna chitasa. Tanvidya Tanvidya dukkha sang juva vyavang juva sangitam. Now, this uh, 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 understanding of misery and happiness uh, can be uh, appreciated by the yoga process. That was yoga process is so important. Uh, <coughs> Non-stranger yoga tapang yoga nidvinna chitta sa 
संकल्प प्रभवान कामान सत्या सर्वान मन सैव इंद्र ग्राम मनुष्य मनुष्य इंद्रग्राम माइंड एंड इंद्रग्राम एंड होल रेंज ऑफ द सेंसेस दैट हैज टू बी कंट्रोल देन वी कैन ग्रेजुअली इट इज प्रैक्टिस ग्रेजुअली वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द रियल हैप्पीनेस हाउ टू अटेन इट सरई सरई उपमदेद बुद्ध्या धृति गृहीतया आत्मा संस्थान मन कृत्याना किंती रवि चिंतये सरई सरई उपमदेद बुद्ध्या गृहि धृति गृहीतया इंटेलिजेंस एंड थिंकिंग फीलिंग फीलिंग बाय ऑल द असिस्टेंट व्हाट आर आई गॉड Sunny, sunny. Uh, always, we have to think of controlling the senses. Atma sanstham mana kritya, and just mind being fixed up, and the atma and the super soul not thinking of anything. Then we do not think anything more. Just like uh, this evening, we are telling that Krishna. Uh, 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 जतो जतो निश्चलती मना चंचल अस्थिर ततस्तो नियम एक आत्मनि बसंग प्रैक्टिकल प्रैक्टिस ऑफ Yoga. Uh, that mind is always disturbed. It is going sometimes this way, sometimes that way. So we have to drag the mind only to Krishna consciousness. That is yoga practice, real practice. Uh, mind is going from here, from Krishna consciousness to so many because that has been my practice since time immemorial. So many lives have passed in that way. Now I have taken a new line of my life. So in the, in the beginning there will be difficulty, but the difficulties can be overcome. Here it is the suggestion: jato jato nishchalati manas chanchala masira, because mind is very much uh, uh, agitating, chanchala, masira, uh, not fixed up. Therefore it goes. Yeah, from one 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 kind of thought to another kind of thought. Sometimes you might have experience that uh, you are doing some work. All of a sudden, you remember some forty years before, or thirty years before, some years before, some incident took place, and you at once remember. All of there is no cause, but it comes. But the subconscious state is there, and we are getting. That means the mind. It all is being agitated. Uh, due to agitation, the things which are uh, stored in the subconscious state they come out. Just like if, if you agitate a, 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 a lake uh, or a pond, uh, all the mud from uh, within it comes. But we have to settle down. Then the mud will settle down. So this yoga process. Is a process of settling down the mind. Jato jato nischalati manas chanchala masthiram tapasvata niyama etad atmani eva bhagna. Therefore, there are so many rules and regulations. Practical. If we follow the rules and regulations, then this agitated mind will gradually be under my control. That's the rules and regulations. 
uh, required to follow. Uh, don't leave. Uh, don't touch your mouth. Uh, don't uh, uh, touch it in that way. Don't do it. So there are so many don'ts and so many do's. So you have to follow that. Following that they, regularly, uh, the mind will be under control. These are the clauses. Prashanta Mahasam Jinam Juinas Sukamuttamam Upaiti Santa Rajasam Brahma Bhutam Akalmatam Prashanta Manasam Jina. When mind will be Prashanta. Prashanta means not being dragged to think anything more than Krishna. That is called Prashanta. There is a nice verse in Srimad Bhagavatam, a devotee is aspiring. Bhavantamiva charan nirantaram prashanta nishtisu gato gato manantaram. Bhavantamiva, the devotee is praying to the Lord, my dear Lord, when I shall be ten percent, twenty-four hours engaged in your time. Bhavantameva, only you, and nothing more. Bhavantameva charan nirantaram. Nirantaram means without cessation. I shall always be engaged in your time. And how? Prasant nishti samano rathantaram. Because my mind is agitating, therefore I create so many mental concoctions. I, I think this will make me happy, this will make me happy, this will make me happy. So many things I create. They are called manorakham, just like uh, a, a man on the motor car uh, goes anywhere, everywhere. Similarly, the mind is taking us uh, everywhere, anywhere. Uh, sometimes here, sometimes there, sometimes here. So that can be stopped. As soon as I engage my mind in Krishna consciousness, then my mind uh, will be naturally stopped for uh, loitering hither and this. So he is praying. The bhavantamiva charan nirantara, when simply by being engaged uh, 24 hours in your service, my mind will be stopped uh, carrying me from here and there. Bhavantamiva charan nirantara, prasanta nishtisa manura then I shall be your eternal servitor. Kadahamaikantikanitakinka Prahansai Shami Sanatha Jivita. Sanatha Jivita. Sanatha Jivita means one who has got a person behind him is patron. A patron is there. Whenever there is some uh, difficulty, the patron supports. Now we have no patron forgetting our relationship with the Supreme Lord. We have no patron. We are thinking of this patron, that patron. But the real patron uh, is the Supreme Personality of God. Sri Dharma He is the real friend of every living entity. So we have to revive our friendship, uh, or revive our actual relationship, uh, just like uh, Ujjun is saying. And then these questions will be Prashanta Manasang Dina Juginam Sukamuttamam Upaiti Shanta Rajasang Brahma Bhuta Makalmata. Now, by attainment of that perfect state of Krishna consciousness, then the Upaiti Shanta Rajasang, we are agitated due to the passion, modes of passion. Now, by practice of this yoga of the Krishna consciousness, this passionate uh, hankering will be stopped. Passionate hankering is Shantara Yasam, Brahma Bhutam Patalimata. Then you become uh, Aham Brahmasmi, I am the truth, and the soul, I am not this one, Atalmata. Without any deviation, without any mistake, this shall be firmly situated in our transcendental position. Thank you. Any questions?